The social and political and economic climate of the time was crap for everybody. If you were black, multiply that by 10. Britain was very, for me, very quite a hostile place growing up. Here in Leeds, we felt we couldn't even leave our communities um, because people would, the racial attacks at the time, and just the slogans on the walls. And we were only young children, and so I think it quite traumatised us, and I think the atmosphere was very much um, that we weren't wanted. Young black people called the police the wicked Babylon, and they felt they were being persecuted. We were treated like shit back in those days. And we were desperate for something that would lift us up. I do remember us sat there watching and um, Mali came on and screamed. Uh, I absolutely screamed, jumping around the place because reggae music wasn't something that the radio stations played or, or it wasn't really featured um, in British society. So to see Bob Marley on the All Grey Whistle Test blew my mind. It was one of those moments that you never forget. This is a rock program. This is a reggae artist. It had never happened before. And up until that point, we haven't seen this band perform live. It's been a static image on an album sleeve. So really, really a powerful performance. Marley's presence resonated with the condition, particularly of young black people in Southampton, because they were told for so long they're not good enough, they can't get jobs, they're, they were sent to schools that uh, were supposed to be for people who were deficient in some way or the other, um, and they saw that the kind of jobs their parents did, as, 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 as good as they may have been, they wanted to do better. I'm actually a product of the Windrush generation. A lot of our parents have kind of denied their culture to try and assimilate. They tried to anglicise themselves, which obviously didn't work. And, uh, you know, we're growing up teenage kids. We're seeing that our parents are basically being screwed. And that's what Bob did at that moment in time. He lifted the black youth of this country. You know, we're being informed by what's going on in America with the whole civil rights thing. So we're pissed off and angry. And Bob gave that a soundtrack. It was like doors were just open to this music and to this man. He just blew the roof off with positive vibration and some positive reggae music. His music was an education, so a lot of us um, didn't have the access to the books. Uh, like now, we've got the internet, you can research anything. He was, he was like our internet. Through music, we, we got educated and we, we learned about ourselves and, and had a sense of pride in who we were. But Mali definitely changed Britain. And that message of unity and love, I think we need his music more now than ever.